Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am back with another of my uh, 1991 World Championship Stratomatic White Sox going up against a 1996 American League team. Today it will be the 1996 Cleveland Indians that we will be playing. Um, again, just to recap what this is, this is a White Sox team that is based off of cards that I had ordered after I had won a world championship in Stratomatic years ago, back in 1991. We had kept all the stats as we played our season, so I had all the stats on all the players, and I sent those statistics off to Strat and had, at various times I ordered, when I could afford it, I would order cards of all the players until I had eventually acquired the cards of all the players. So these cards um, will be used, or that this these electronic players are based off of, are based off of cards that were ma actually made by Stratomatic based on statistics I sent them. Uh, to recap how we've done so far, I think we've played three games. I want to say we've played three games. We've played Boston, we've played Texas, and I'm pretty sure we played somebody else. I can't remember who. Um, but, you know, go back in my, uh, in my archives of my videos and you'll see. But I'm pretty sure it was three teams that we played. Um, I think we lost to Boston. I think we beat Texas. And then again, like I said, I don't remember who the other team was that we played. So that's where we are. Um, in this game, I will not be playing Sandy Alomar Jr. at catcher at all. He is on my roster because he was on my World Championship White Sox, but he also happens to be on the 1996 Indians. And as I said, uh, before in one of the other previous uh, version or games that I've played um, of this team, the um, if there was a player that was on both teams, then he has to sit for one of them. And since I had Ron Karkovice on my team and I like him better, and he's a, he was actually a White Sox player, we're going to go with Ron Karkovice at catcher, and we will let the '96 Indians have. Uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. And today's pitching matchup, as you can see on, on the screen, will be um, Charles Nagy for the Indians going against Tom Candiotti for me. And I'm not even sure Candiotti might have been on that Indians team, but he is not pitching for the Indians. So I'm okay to pitch him. So with that having been said, um, well, first of all, let's lower the volume. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's lower the volume so that we don't have to put up too much with all the stuff. Okay, so let's get ready to play some ball. Yep. All right, and there he is, Charles Nagy, and he's going to face Alex Cole for me. And he's out. And that brings up Kirby Union Gap Puckett for our 91 White Sox team. And it looks like he flew out. And now Kevin Moss, no Moss. And in case you are new to watching this, uh, Kevin Moss for me this year, this particular year, hit 65 home runs. He had a limited number of at-bats. I think he had like 105 at-bats or something and might have had like eight or nine home runs. And back then we played in that league that we were in, we played where you could play anybody as much as you wanted. And there he is. There's Candiotti, my man, going up against Kenny Lofton. So we came away with nothing in the top of the first. And Lofton is out, and that brings up Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. 
and he is out, and that brings up Kevin Elka Seitzer. And he got a base hit. Um, Albert Bell is up. Against the Candyman. You know, he, he wasn't the Candyman. That was Candelaria. All right, Dan Pask was up for us against Charles Nagy, leading off the top of the second. And that could be gone. He could have gone deep. And that is, yes, gone. Home run for Danny Pasqua. And that brings up Tim Wallach. So we're ahead one nothing, And that might be a big hit right there, maybe a double. And yes, it is. And now Lloyd Mosby is up with a man at second base. Still no outs. Nagy on the ropes. We got him on the ropes. But that's going to be a pop-up. And now that brings up Ozzy Guillen. And what happened there? Strike three. And now Ron Karkavice, power hitting catcher. No average, but he had power. And he is out. So we just get the one run on the Pasqua homer, although it was very promising. And now Jim Tomei is coming up against Candiotti. And he's out. And that brings up Manny Ramirez. Fine player in his own right. And he walks. And now that brings up Carlos Baerga with Ramirez at first. And he rips it up the middle for a base hit. And now runners are on at first and second with Sandy Alomar Jr. up. And he is going to be on by an error by Wallach. An uncharacteristic error by Tim Wallach over at third. I'm going to keep the infield back, though. Omar Vizquel is up. That might. Is that a hit? Yeah, that's a, that's a hit. So the, the Indians are head 2 to 1 with Lofton up. I'm still going to keep the infield back. Let's see what happens. And he's out. Nice. Karkovice gunned him. So now there's two down. They're ahead two to one and uh, in the uh, bottom of the second with Lofton up. And he walks. Um, okay, Franco's up. We go down by the schoolyard. Looks like he will be out, and he is. So the Indians struck for two there, and they take a two to one lead going to the top of the third with us up. And Rene Gonzalez, our second baseman, batting. And he is out. Alex Cole up. And he is out. And that brings up Kirby Union, Gap Puckett. And he hit it up the middle, but he's out. So we go to the bottom of the third, losing two to one with Candiotti on the mound. And he's, no, he walked. He walked him. Um, and now Albert Bell is up. And he hits a medium deep fly ball but to Mosby and he handles it so now Tome is up with a man at first and one out for the Indians. Seitzer can't get the lead and that might be no that was uh, fielder's choice. Seitzer's at second and Manny Ramirez up with two down and the Indians ahead 2-1 bottom of third. And that's it. No, that's not. What happened there? All right. And yeah, it's another error. And I have good fielders, too, at second and third. All right. Carlos Baerg is up. That's a deep fly ball to Cole, which isn't good. And no, it isn't. And we are going to 
I'm going to throw for the lead runner, let the ball go through. But he scores anyway, and now they're ahead four to one. They're kicking our butt. And that's a fly ball for Alomar. So we are losing um, four, four to one in the top of the fourth. And Moss is up. I'm going to let him swing away. And he's out. Our only run again was scoring on a Dan Pascal homer, and here's the man of the hour himself. And he is going to be out, and Tim Wallach is up. And what I'm really finding as I play these games is that this world champion 91 White Sox team really was not that good. Wallach got aboard, so Mosby is up with two down and Wallach on. And Candiotti pitching to Vizquel, who is going to hit it into the gap. And now I think I'm going to have to go get some relief help. Let's go to the bullpen. I'm going to get Wayne Edwards up. Oh, wait. No, wait. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I keep thinking this is like other games where you have to get him warmed up. So you don't. So, um, But it is going to be Wayne Edwards when I get ready to bring him in. And that's gonna be right now. Let's throw for the lead runner. Let the ball go through. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's a lost cause right now anyway, I think probably, but we're gonna put in Wayne Edwards and we're gonna see what he can do. With the score, what is it, five to one? And that is still, there's no outs. And that was hit pretty deep, probably a fly ball. And it is one out, but it's six to one, the Indians. And uh, Seister gets a board. And that brings up Alabama Bell. And he hits a foul ball. And now he's going into the gap or a home run. No. Yeah, it's a double. And now Tome is up 6-1. Only one out here. We're getting schooled. And that's 7-1 now. And now Manny Ramirez is up. And he walks. And now what we have is runners at the corners and Bayerga up and he hits the ball through. And man, this is the worst performance I think I've ever seen this team have. Um, Sandy Alomar is up. We're losing 8-1 in the fourth. There's only, well, there is two outs, but that might've been over Cole's head. Yep. And I'm going to stop the uh, of the runner because you know, there's really no sense in trying to gun people out now. And so that is going to be that. And uh, we're going to bat right here. Gian. He's out. Karkovice is up. He's out. And Gonzalez is up. And that's uh, batter is injured on the play, and he'll be out five days. So a new position. I need a new second baseman. That will be Ron Oster. We'll put him in at second. And there we go. Off we go. And Wayne Edwards pitching another inning. Because why not? I don't think that this game is salvageable at all now. And he gives up a base hit. <laughs> yep. Man. I mean, Wayne Edwards was not good for me that, that year. 
let's not pretend that he was, but this is really a horrible performance. Hoster should squeeze that, and it's one away, and now Seitzer's up. We're down 10-1. It's an out, and then Bell is up. And he gets something. That's going to be a home run. Oh, no, it's a foul ball. All right. Uh, okay. He got on board. Now he's got to face Tomei with two outs and two on. And Tomei rips it through for a base hit. And I don't even want to see the line on Edwards after this, and neither does he. Man, this is the... T God, get an out. Can you get an get out? I mean, you know, I'll take, I promise I'll take you out after this inning, but at least get an out somewhere. All right, so Alomar's up with runners at second and third. We're losing 13 to 1. Every now and again, you need a, a good old fashioned spanking. And so now here is Cole against Nagy, who probably is safe to go the entire rest of the game now. Uh, puck it up with one out. And now Kevin Moss, no Moss. And is that a hit? No. And I am definitely not going to let Wayne Edwards pitch this inning. That guy is horrible. Um, let's bring in Willie Blair. He was another guy that did not pitch very well for me, but... And there he is, big Willie Blair pitching to Omar Vizquel. But he's got to pitch better than Wade Edwards did. Okay, so Vizquel got a board. Now they're going to try to bunt him over. And there is one out, and now Franco's up. They felt sorry for us, so they gave us an out there on the bunt. That's going to be a strikeout. And that brings up Kevin Elka Seitz. And he is out. Okay, Dan Pask was up. And he flies out. And if you're, in case you're wondering, this is not like I'm, I'm not playing a season per se. I'm just kind of, um, I just randomly play games against teams with my 91 world champion White Sox, who right now are not playing like a world champion. And really even generally overall, they're not. Because like I said, I played two other games and I might even be one in, or three other games. And I might even be one and two in those three games. Now, Guillen's up with Wallach aboard and two out. And that's going to be a base hit. So now Karkovice is up. Man, if he could hit a, a three-run homer, it would be 13 to four. But no, he, he bounced out. So this is the seventh inning stretch. Um, all right. Albert Joey Bell is up. I'm still going to keep Blair out there because, of course, why not? We are the visiting team, so the good thing there is that this game is not going to go to the bottom of the night. Tomei is up. And, yeah, this is really, they are torturing our pitchers. And they continue to. Oh, no, that was, yeah. So now it's 14-1. to 1. Blair yet to get an out, and that's a double into the gap. By Erga. Man, this was the wrong team to pick up. Sandy Alomar is up. And he's out. So one away. 
<coughs> Thankfully, Vizcal out. And he was, he bounced out, and it's, um, or did he? Yeah, he did. And now that's a pop out. So thankfully that inning ends. And now here we go to the top of the eighth with Brian Oster up. And that's one way, and Alex Cole up. And Cole is on. I'm going to try to steal. And he is safe. And then Puckett's up. I mean, I might as well have a little fun here. I mean, I'm losing 51. Got to do something to have a little fun and shake it up. All right, two runners on and Moss up with an out in the inning. And he's out. He strikes out. Now, he did strike out a lot. So, And then Dan Pass was up, the guy who scored our only run on a solo homer. And he might have a double and knock in another run with that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to hold up the run because we just need base runners right now. And Tim Wallach is three for three, so he's been kind of an unsung hero in this game while well, we've been getting our um, – Butts trounced. And uh, they're going to bring in a reliever. And he hits, is that a single? No. And I am going to bring in another reliever. We're going to bring in Radinsky to pitch the eighth to do the mop up. Against Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. And he might get a single on that, right? Yeah. And now Kevin Seitzer is going to bunt. Um, we're going to get the sure out at first. Might as well. We're not trying to stop anything from happening because too much has already happened. And Elbert Bell is up. He's two for four today. But Gein threw him out. And now Tomei is up. And that is an out. So now we're up for our last merciful time at bat. And uh, Mosby up. Surprised they took Nagy out. So Mosby flies out. Um, Gian, we're losing 15 to 2, just 15 to 2. Gian's up, and he's going to hit one into the gap. So there's a lot of guys on this team not giving up right now, even though we're down by 13 runs. Uh, Karkovice up, Karkovice. And he's out, and uh, that brings up Ronnie Oster with two down. He could be the last one. And, but no, well, I mean, he still might, but that was just a pass ball. And it uh, looks like that's it. That's it, fans. So now let's get the box score because this is going to be, it's going to be interesting. Uh, you got, uh, yeah, 15 to 2. Candiotti went three and allowed four earned runs, but six runs overall. Uh, Edwards pitched two and gave up seven earned runs. That's pretty nice. And six hits and four walks in that two innings. I don't even know how you could fit that in two innings, but he did. Willie Blair pitched two, gave up two. And Radinsky pitched one clean, one pretty clean inning. I mean, he gave up a hit, but, you know. So that is uh, exactly how it went. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be it for here. Don't forget, this is my contact information. Can you see this? Can you see this? Um, there's my email down there at the bottom. I, hopefully you can see it. Um, there's my Twitter and my Instagram in case you want to get in touch with me. 
and then uh, and you don't want to leave a comment, but I would do prefer that you leave a comment, say that we got our butt spanked, whatever, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and pass this on to anybody you think might be interested. Ring the bell. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Bob Zolke, signing off.